tell you a story about when I was a kid. This story might include a squid. Cause things were different when I was a kid. Sharks came to fins, the outstanding bin. When I was a kid, the things you were made were the things that I did when I was a kid. In kindergarten, Halloween was a big deal. Not only were we already excited for Halloween, it was already a big deal, but now we were in school and we could show up in costume. We were literally smacking each other in the face. We were so excited. I even made a costume for Jesus, but Sister Magdalene made me take it down. So we were going to have a costume contest. Every day for the whole month of October, Sister Magdalene put a piece of candy in this little jack-o'-lantern. Sister Magdalene was also like 101 years old, and every time she put candy in the bucket, one of her brittle bones snapped like a faulty bridge cable. Anyway, by the end of the month, there were 30 pieces of candy in the thing, and on the 31st, whoever had the best costume would get all the candy. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I have a rather competitive nature, and things were no different in grade K. So I scattered around. This one girl was coming as the chick from Pokemon, and this other guy, was he was going to be Superman. And of course, they all wanted to know what I was coming as. I can't tell you. Justin, you can tell them what you're going to be. I can, but I'm not going to. It's a secret. Is your mom helping you make your costume? The Duplicon? Yeah, right. She dressed me up as a Krogothian cave bear or something. What's a Krogoth bear cave? It's a bear that lives in a keg on the side of the Krogothian mountains in the terror fields. Don't you know anything? So if you're not coming as a Krogothian babe cave, uh, then what are you coming as? That shit's a secret. But I promise you, when I show up, it's going to fucking change the way you think about Halloween. And I left it at that. Now, I was still only five, and I did need help making my costume. I wasn't going to ask the Duplicon, because every year, around the end of October, she had to plug herself into the wall outlets and recharge her thinking cells. So the only person I knew who could help me was Sombrero. You wouldn't think it to look at him, but Sombrero was one hell of a seamstress. His sewing machine was fucking tricked out with, like, racing stripes and spinners and shit, and he could sew, like, anything to anything. So he brought his rig out over and was going to help me. He was sewing up a storm, but he kept making all these terrible suggestions. You need to put the picture of Our Lady of Guadalupe on this, he'd say, and I'd be like, Nah, man, that doesn't really fit the costume I have. And then later on, he'd be like, I can stitch our name on here in really large letters, you know, with the old English font. And I'd be like, nah, man, let's just stick with my original idea. And then Sombrero got high and started watching Telemundo, and then I had to finish on my own. But when all was said and done, my costume was pretty kick-ass. So the next day was Halloween. There was the Pokemon chick and the Superman guy. And there was even this kid as Batman. And it looked pretty good. But their hopes on winning the contest were fucking ruined when I burst through the door in my costume. Krogothian cave bear, motherfuckers! Oh! Immediately, I began attacking the other students. But you said you didn't want to be a cave bear, my teacher shouted. You said it was your mom's idea. A clever ruse to make you drop your guard, god woman! The screams and shrieks coming from her classroom got the attention of the other classes. Some of the other teachers came by to witness the horror. Ah, more flesh for my banquet, I declared. All hail the Krogothian cave bear! I attacked anyone and everyone I could get my hands on, and I even stole my principal's best pen. Of course, they eventually caught me after chasing me around. And then they dragged me to Mother Superior's office. They called my mom, and apparently she had charged her thinking cells long enough to walk her imposter legs into the school and pretend to actually be my mom. What did he do now? she asked. This doesn't concern you, Duplicon! I yelled. He says he's a Krogothian cave bear, my principal told her. And then she acted like she didn't know what that was. You gotta watch out for those Duplicons, man. They're shifty motherfuckers.